Welcome back, everyone. Toy is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Toy Fair Week 72 is upon us, and now a uh, Todd McFarlane with McFarlane Toys has begun showing off their Toy Fair offerings. Starting off with day one, we got a brand new reveal for the new Spawns Universe Wave three action figures, which of course, Spawn's Universe has kind of been doing a different thing lately. They got a bunch of new comic books. You have the Scorched, you have Spawn's Universe, you got all different kinds of team-ups and different Spawns and She Spawns and everything else. So they're kind of doing a Into the Spawniverse sort of deal with uh, Gunslinger and Ninja Spawn and everything else that you'll kind of see coming up. Rick Farland did release a video talking about the new products of which he briefly went over and just kind of popped up and put it back down a upcoming medieval spawn figure now it's been sort of talked about sort of teased perhaps it'll be a kickstarter perhaps it won't we'll have to wait to see what they do but it was literally like here's the figure from behind and drop down behind the packaging again. and just as a heads up as always if you're looking for any of these two pre-order i'll have the links down in the description below amazon entertainment earth walmart yada yada thanks for using my links it helps the channel to grow. So, to, without further ado, let's get into Spawn's Universe Wave 3, starting with a re-release of the Raven Spawn. Now, this was part of Wave 1. Was not exactly my favorite figure of the, uh, the first wave. This one, they've said that it's a smaller sickle sort of weapon, right? Uh, that's really the only change, so instead of a new hat... He has a uh, smaller weapon piece, but the main Reaper Scythe kind of thing has a little bit more paint to it, whereas the other one uh, didn't. It was mostly just flat plastic. He also looks a little bit brighter in the colors as opposed to the last one is a little bit more muddled. One thing I want to point out, though, if this is the packaging going forward for Spawn, that is great. That's eye-catching. It's very Spawn, right? You got the greens for the logo. You got the reds. It's a little bit of... Uh, kind of blood or gore kind of splash kind of motif so very cool you get to see the artwork on the side of raven spawn honestly can't say it's one for me i already have raven spawn from wave one and then i have the prior original 90s uh, mcfarland toys is raven spawn so either way if you've missed out on raven spawn it wouldn't be terrible although he should have had some ravens i'm just gonna say next up is ninja spawn as a spawn collector, I was never a huge fan of the ninja spawns that came out. There were a ton. Ninja spawn was odd because I think of the articulation limitations back in the day. This one is a fully articulated ninja spawn. And I actually do really like the way this looks. I'll definitely be grabbing this guy. This one's different. It coincides more with the more uh, updated spawns universe look for the ninja spawn. So I like all the different weapons that he comes with as well stands out he's got uh, two leonardo swords and two mortal Kombat swords i don't know whatever you want to call them but i like the uh, the deco that they got going on hopefully he's just loaded up with paint and everything else because uh, if the pictures are any indication yeah he definitely looks like a great ninja spawn and of course the artwork the box yada yada next up is the mega figure from the wave now it's like every wave of the spawns universe you're gonna have the deluxe figure you got the mega figure and then you usually have about three standard spawn figures so this one is overkill and there you cannot beat spawns uh, was it series 20s overkill for back in the day that was one a gargantuan figure it's amazing the articulation is, yes, very statuesque, we'll just say that, minimal articulation points. This one is more of the modern look for Overt Kill. In the video, Todd McFarlane actually referred to him as a superhero. I know that he's kind of got like the hero thing going on. Not to say that it's a, a not a good looking figure, it's just not what I think of when I think of Overt Kill. It's the very more modern take for Overt Kill, and I think that, yeah, he still gets destroyed. <laughs> Like, fairly easy. Yeah, in the comics, he was pretty good. In the animation, he got, like, taken out, like, two seconds. But uh, there's something really cool about Overkill. I don't know what this one is missing. I'll have to see it more in hand. Perhaps I'll definitely change my tune. But doesn't come with any accessories. No parking meter. No firing rocket launcher head. No chains. Nothing like that. And that's... I know it's like, yeah, but they've already done that kind of thing. And I'm not saying do exactly that. But... Overkill is about death and destruction and weapons and guns and blowing stuff up. So I don't really feel like this one encompasses that, to be honest with you. Nice artwork on the backside, the front, everything else like that on the box. And if you look, 
I mean, he's good in the terms of the size. He's supposed to be a giant, gargantuan character. So, again, I'm on the fence a little bit, but we'll have to see how this guy comes out. And, of course, next up is a new Spawn action figure. For those of you not uh, into the whole Spawn Kickstarter, maybe you passed on the Mortal Kombat version of Spawn, one of the many uh, Skittles versions as well, they're going to be doing a deluxe Spawn. Now, he comes with... The, it's, it's a throne of bone and alley trash and everything. It's from a particular cover slash, I think it was like a pin out, fold out kind of thing if I remember correctly. But back in the day, they did do this figure. I think it was Spawn 5, Spawn 6, something like that. I have him. I'll have to pull him out. We can, uh, we can look at him closer in detail. But this is him in the throne. He comes with... Basically, the cape, the top part of the cape, and then it looks like the throne has parts of the cape, or at least one part of the cape to it, so that when you situate him in this, you have an articulated spawn, but then you don't have the rest of the cape. That is kind of a bummer to me. I think it's a bummer to those that were really expecting more of a, a flourishing out sort of cape. I wouldn't be surprised if you see it like released again with another cape, you know what I mean? But the deluxe aspect is the throne, you can say. So, I like it in that sense. I like that it's articulated. However, it's, again, one of those spawn figures that I feel like I already have. It's nice to see a articulated spawn minus the cape. That's actually not a bad thing. When you have it, you can get them all posed out. For those of you, I mean, it's not exactly my route or one that I would suggest, but a lot of people for photography or just customizers, like to do like a wired cape. I think you can buy them on Line, eBay, something like that. So you could go that route. But it, it's one of those where, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, it's like I already have this figure and we'll have to see how it kind of goes when you have it in the hand. So deluxe pricing, deluxe packaging. Really doesn't look too shabby if you want a seated spawn. And then the next one up is the one that I have been wanting for a long time. This is a very cool character to me and one they've only really done statues of here and there. And this is Haunt. And this is another McFarlane image. Uh, what is it? Robert Kirkman created character. I think they did it together. Haunt is kind of uh, uh, another Venom. Like if you say like Spawn is Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, and Venom, uh, you know, kind of all mashed together, then Haunt is kind of a symbiote kind of deal. You know what I mean? So, very cool. I like the face on him. I like that he comes with powers and effects. He's got a little, like, base to him, you know, for for just some of that added gravitas. So, this one is hands down my favorite figure for Wave 3. This is the one that I definitely want. One being because we've never had a Haunt action figure. Two, because it looks amazing. And three, uh, put those together and we'll just call it a, a third option. So, nice packaging overall. And that really does wrap it up for the Wave 3 of the upcoming McFarlane Toys' Spawn Universe. Now, there will be more reveals later this weekend. I'm sure they're going to do DC Multiverse and some other things here and there. So, Get excited, and I'll do more videos talking about all the uh, new reveals coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new Spawn figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing which Spawn characters? I guess ones that, <laughs> it's few and far between, but let's say, you know, ones that they haven't really done, or maybe need a little bit of an articulated update. Uh, which characters would you like to see? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember... Keep bringing the spawn, baby. It may not be, see, that's the thing, in collecting all these things for years and years, it may not be, like, exciting, but I'm just glad that there are new spawn figures on the shelves for the new collectors. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.